Radko, a Sydney-based chauffeur, aka Ray. On this channel, I share my passion by giving you a glimpse into my chauffeur life. Look how dark is this road. places that I've seen lately southeast of Sydney and it's been a while I haven't been to this place I think the last time I've picked up this family was uh, probably I would say five or six months and also was this time of the day it was early in the morning I think it was three o'clock so here we are again same place same time and the same family It's, um, it's very early, it's half past two in the morning. In fact, these kind of shifts are not very um, common for me nowadays. Yeah, I used to do them back in the days when I used to be a contractor with the airlines. So we used to do a lot of pickups in the morning. Um, uh, two o'clock, three o'clock, half past two, depending where the people used to live. So both business and first class passengers. So for example, if someone was buying a first class ticket to, to London, he used to get a complimentary vehicle complimentary vehicle and I was part of that complimentary service so we used to get paid by the airlines and I used to do a lot of early pickups in the morning but uh, for the last I would say two three years not that many it's a lovely family of four that I I've been serving them for for a very long time in fact the husband asked me if I can help with the luggage of, which is Normally, it's a part of the service we help with the luggage, but um, also he wanted me to help his wife with the check-in, which is quite tricky. Sydney International Airport, it's sort of once you get to the curbside, you're not allowed to leave the vehicle because you're attracting a fine by the by the curbside security. So I advised the client that I'm not going to be able to leave the vehicle on the curbside. Yes, so I can help you with the bags, but I have to leave the vehicle at the at the terminal. it. First we have to drive through M5 tunnel. They say this tunnel is uh, the longest in Sydney. There's one speed camera in this tunnel. You gotta be you gotta be careful if you're driving sometimes both south and north. So you gotta be careful 
not to get done if you're driving on M5 and in order to um, uh, get to the Sydney International Airport uh, we are using the one of the two exits I think the first one is Princess Highway and we are using the second which is called Ma Street and once we get off at Ma Street and it takes additional another couple of minutes and that's Sydney International Airport luggage today this one had four or five large bags and probably I would say another four or five medium and, and small in a situation like this sometimes I use the trailer but um, the client didn't ask for one so I ended up I managed somehow to have all the bags inside the vehicle which is not ideal but that's the job <laughs> 